Hey everybody, Clorf here. Welcome to Bear With Me. A uh, game just released on Steam today. Well, for you, it's going to be yesterday. Uh, but it looks really interesting. It's kind of a, a film noir detective story type game. Uh, starring these two here. A girl and her teddy bear. This should be fun. Let's get to it. Let this intro go through and see what we're doing here. Okay. I guess this is us. Uh, I'm assuming we're Amber. Let's see if she's the one who talked to us. Try to wake us up. It seems you had a nightmare. Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, uh, there was a fire. There was this fire, and black smoke was coming from the windows. Funny thing is, it didn't feel scary to me, like I wasn't really there. Was it Paper City? No, I don't think so. What are you doing here, Millie? Are you alright? Oh, oh, she's concerned no, for you. Oh, miss. Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I uh -oh. came here as soon as I could. What's going I on wanted in Paper City? to warn you and your brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. What do you mean? Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. Uh -oh. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, before you go around looking for your brother, miss, go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted, I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. That'd be it here. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven, and he's become a burnout. What? I haven't seen him since he left the city. But whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. Well, it's a teddy bear. I gotta go ask. Okay, Millie, I'll go ask him. But I'm not sure if he'll even hear me out. We left off on a really bad note. It's a shame you two aren't working together anymore. You were always such good friends. But for your sake, miss, please don't go wandering around alone. There is something else I haven't told you about. Of course the reason there is. I came all the way down here. There is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. He's asking a lot of questions about you. What man? We call him the Red Man. There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week, ever since he showed up. The officials are burying their heads in the sand, while this man has an entire city, your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well, Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. The mayor and the commissioner have issued a citywide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. A lot of people are escaping the city. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, but most of the exits are closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The Mugshot Boys helped me through the East Tunnel. Bless their hearts. We arrived at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. I'll be back as soon as I can to come check on you. Do you need anything? I'm fine, little miss. I just need to rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. Okay, so this is kind of neat. I've got, uh, I like the style here. It's very... Very film noir, black and white. It's kind of neat looking. Huh? This is good. All right, let's go talk to Mr. Bear. 
Ooh, steps and everything. Oh, the music's Ashworth. perfect. If I had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble, I'd be neck deep in nickels right now. Oh, I'm Something liking this. different this time. I could feel it in the air. Someone really put the scares on her. Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. She starts talking, and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm retired, for good this time. It fell on deaf ears again. Anyway, she starts talking about Millie, Paper City, her brother, and all that jazz. And I'm wondering how many times we've gone through this before. You see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she always does. And I play hard to get, as I always do. Eventually, I give in. We've done this so many times, I've lost count. She knows the drill, and so do I. Might as well just hear her out. Her oh, words Karen ring Hill. through Cute. my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head, and then... They get lost in the cold autumn rain outside, tapping on my window in this hypnotic manner. It's calming in a way, or is it the booze that makes me calm? Not much to do when you're retired, and hobbies were never my cup of tea. I know her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress shtick means bad news for me, and yet I know... I'm in for it again. The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. Hi, Ted. I heard this just you looks were really tired, cool. but... Cut the ceremony, doll. I ain't doing it. Doing what? Whatever little plan you've schemed up this time to ruin my life. Your bad news, doll. Always were. Do me a solid this time, and leave me out of it. I'm busy. I knew you wouldn't help me. I only asked because Millie insisted you come along. Millie? Are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, doll. Shouldn't you be in bed? Oh. Okay, I get to select stuff now. But, uh, yeah, the, the look of this is just fantastic. It's very, you know, 1930s, 1940s detective type look, and the... the the voice they've got for the bear is just awesome on this, so I think this is going to be lots of fun. Um, we were just in bed, yes. I was in bed. Millie woke me up. Well, you should ask her to help you out then. So, you're saying I should ask an old blind woman to help me out? That old broad is tougher than she looks. Now, if you don't mind, I have some real work to do. Oh my god, you're still mad at me? After all this time? Oh, I, I really need your him. help, and I kind of promised Millie I would ask you to come along. Mad? Why would I be mad? I was almost thrown oh. into a wood chipper thanks to you. Sorry about that. I was lucky. One of the guys we investigated is in my bird watching, uh, poker and cigar club. And where were you? You ran off. I was following a lead. Um, somewhere else. Yeah? What'd you found out? Not much. Not a goddamn thing. Oh, the bear's Listen, got a mouth on him. I've got a nice little setup here. Lately, I've been doing some tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. Bunch of nervous train wrecks, but the money is good. I grew tired of pulling bloated toys out of Dredge River. Our days of crime fighting are over. That whole thing, it's behind us. It belongs in the past. Capiche? You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? A little bit. How was it? It was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I threw that in for dramatic effect. It wasn't in the original draft, though. No, no, it was good. It gets the point across. Does it really? I love the banter between these You're two. You're still this here. Is, this is I still have a lot of work to do. Um... Does he owe me rent? Sure, he owes me rent. How about I just keep pretending your office isn't in my closet and you actually owe me rent? That was kind of a cheap shot, doll. But I guess nothing ever comes for free. What's this nonsense all about, anyways? So, according to Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What things? Like, all sorts of bad things. And there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie, 
The mayor has issued a citywide lockdown. No one is allowed to leave or enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. They've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route, but I think that's been closed off too. They? Um... Millie and the bird watchers of the world, what the heck? Ooh, wine and cheese in the month club. Um, yeah, Millie and the wine and cheese of the month club. They need a place to, uh... Get drunk and eat cheese bits? It's called a living room. They have clubs for everything these days. Wait, are you making this up? Yeah, sorry. The mugshot boys helped her out. I know how much you don't like them. I mean, what's not to like? The fact that they're thieves and thugs? They literally stole a candy from a baby once. But wasn't that baby an undercover cop? Well, yeah, it was. But they didn't know that. Now, did they? I'd love Anyways, to see the uh, adventures these two had the before this. East Tunnel, That'd be the fun. The one that leads to Flint's room. And she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. I need to go and check on Flint. Maybe he's still in the house, but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man, dressed completely in red. He came down to Paper City recently and was asking questions about me. He's asking questions about you? What's so interesting about you? Hey, I'll have you know there are a lot of people out there who find me interesting. Millie is really scared of this man. I can't leave anything to chance. Will you help me out? Whoa there, sugar cup. Even if I come along, and I'm still thinking that one over. I'm afraid a crucial component that'll help in our future investigation is missing. Um... Your hat. Your hat? No. I'm phasing that one out. Oh, fine. Be that way. Your magnifier? That's right, doll face. Now be a good assistant and go find it for me. I'm sorry, your assistant? You know what I mean. Now get cracking. Wow, this is... The beer's kind of a dick. It's my field hockey mask. My friend Jason wants to borrow it. As far <laughs> as I'm concerned, he can have it. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, don't ask. Yeah. I really feel like I don't own enough shoes. And no, it's not a stereotype. It's just a fact. Okay, sir. I got this for Flint with my own well. money. It's some guardian superhero dude. Okay, Very so bleak and depressing story arc. We need to find magnifying glass for this guy. Um, file cabinet? No. Maybe it's back in our room. Let's go take a look around. Anything down here? What's under the bed? Yeah, I'll just I can pick, pick it up. this up. You never know when it might come in handy. Chest. I use okay. this chest as a reading bench sometimes. Unlike okay. most women, I just like to sit near the window on a cold autumn day under a warm blanket with a good book. It's just this weird quirk I have. Okay, glasses? Maybe he's referring to the glasses as the magnifying glass. I don't really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Better take them with me just in case. Cornflakes. They've gotten cold and mushy and gross. Mmm. Yummy. Drawer. What's in the drawer? Oh, that's right. I remember playing with this a couple of days ago. It fell on the floor and the lens broke. I'll take uh -oh. the magnifier with me, but I better repair it before I return it to Ted. Hmm. Uh, I can't use that. No? Okay. Let's see. What do I do here? Can I... Are you even trying? Yes, I'm trying, Amber. Okay, I take the lens out I of this. I broke my mom's glasses. Yes. Okay. I better find use for this lens uh, I'm sorry, now. Sorry, Mom. Didn't mean to break your glasses. This I won't put that in there. hold. I need some sort of adhesive. Oh, 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 I, I think I saw something back in Ted's office. Hang on. Uh, 
glue. I bet this glue will be useful. Better take it with me. Yes, yes it will. Um, glue that. There we go. Hey. Now I just need a lens. Can we enough Voila, right here? A perfect crime. Ted will never know. Okay, got it. Here you go, Ted. Found my magnifier yet? Yes, I did. Nope, not yet. Do you really need it, though? Um, Do you really need my help? Okay, Amber, you're, fair you're holding it. You're, you're, Amber. It's right here. Can, can I, can I hand it to him? Can, no? Okay. Oh, here we go. That's not Aha. my magnifier. What do you oh, mean? Crap. It's a magnifier. It magnifies and everything? No, this is my magnifier, with the lens missing. Ooh. Which yeah. I'm sure you broke recently. Sorry. You've replaced the lens with your mom's glasses and glued them together with kid's glue. I'm a kid. That's what do you expect? That's preposterous. Never have I ever. Okay, never mind. This will do, I guess. Let's head out. Yay! He has no feet. Okay, Millie, we're we're off. He's wearing a suit, oh, though. Oh, so nice bear. to see you two working together again. True friendship is never. Okay, forget it. I'm going back to the office. No, no, Mr. Don't Bear. Stay. I know you wouldn't let Little Miss wander around alone, now would you? Why? Is your exaggeration after her? Listen here, Mr. Bear. Oh, she's getting started Little with him. Miss needs your help. Her brother is missing. Now you clean yourself up, get your head straight, and help her out, or else. Oh, she's yeah, gonna that's break right, out a Mr. can Bear. of whoop ass on sure. him. Sure, gang up on me. Anyways, we should get going. I don't have all night. Okay, um, hallway. Let's head out. Watch my back, Ted. Bathroom, boxes, Flint's room. Let's go in there. Wait, it's locked. But why? This is mighty suspicious, doll. Wasn't there a hole in the study wall? You know, that one that you used to crawl through when you were younger. You're right, Snoop. Maybe I can still fit through. It's worth checking out. Okay, uh, stairs? No. Hallway east. Let's see what we can see here. Oh, hey, hi there. Hey there, Rust. It's been a while. Sure has, Snoop. Still walking the beat? Not lately. I finally took some time out to sort things out. Uh -huh. He's pretending he's retired. Yeah, it takes a lot he's been out of sitting him, in apparently. the closet for a while. Well, you couldn't have picked a worse time to retire, Snoop. Things are getting close to boiling point down in the city. What's going on, Rust? Wish I could tell you, Bear. I'm as clueless as the rest of them. One thing I know is that I was working at the steel mill one day. The damn place got blown up. Um. Have, you seen, Have you seen Flint, Rusty? Millie told me he might be missing. I'm sorry, little miss. I'm afraid I haven't seen your brother. But I'm sure he's fine. Flint is a tough kid. Besides, no one has left or entered this room since I got here. Uh, lockdown? We've heard the city is in lockdown. Sure is. It's been like that since the mill exploded. The official statement is that there was a gas leak down at the basement leak. level. We all know better. That's a bunch of hokum. Uh, how'd you how'd escape? How'd you escape? I used the East Tunnel maintenance shaft, but the thing was getting close to collapsing. I think uh -oh. they closed it off completely after I got yeah, through. Yeah, won't be able to get in there that uh... So you think it wasn't an accident? You think someone is trying to cover something up? That's right, it wasn't I an accident. Go that far, miss. Oh, My suspicion then. is that the officials don't want to make a big deal out of it. Keep the folks at ease. Uh, what about the Miller, fine. that Deeds fellow? He made any enemies lately? Filed any big insurance claim or something? Nah, no, Bear. Mr. Deeds is a straight up bird. Besides, his son was down at the mill when it happened. He had got a little ear buzz, is all. Uh, so no one enters or leaves the so city. So no one gotcha. leaves or enters the city at this point? 
That's what the lockdown implies, Bear. Folks are still escaping, though. I hear some of them got here through the tunnels. Them mugshot boys were the first to flee, and poor old Millie. I hear she got here safe. Millie's in my room. She's resting. Bless your kind heart, little miss. I'll stay here in the hallway. Keep an eye out. Can okay. you do it, Rust? You seem kind of tired. I ain't no bunny, little miss. Some buster tries to pull a fast one on me, I'll give Love him a little, little chin music I like before this. I drop a dime on him to the elbows. Um, what? He's saying he can do it. Okay. Uh, We've heard rumors man. about some red man. Know anything about that? I sure do. He's the damn reason all this is happening, Bear. So this red shows up down in PC. This was a week ago. He goes after the thugs first. Gathers information and such. No one thought nothing of it. A couple of beaten up low lives here and there. It's a common trade with these guys, you know? Then, the fire started. I hear a couple of guys down from the coal district gathered a posse. Trying to corner this bird. No one heard from him since. And those guys are miners, Bear. They're as tough as nails. Who is? Those guys, Ted. What kind of information is he after? Well, here's the funny part, Snoop. I heard he was asking a lot of questions about our beloved miss here. That's why I'm here. After Doris and the kids left the city, I figure I'd come here and make sure Amber stays safe. Now, don't you be dragging her on one of your ill-advised adventures, Bear. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Anyways, why would this guy be going around asking about her? You know anything about this, doll? Anyone whose life you're messing with? Besides mine, I mean. Angry boyfriend, perhaps? Uh, yeah, I'm sure you a boyfriend. Don't get smart. I never heard of this red guy until tonight. Besides, you're the only man in my life, Aww. Bear. Who's getting smart now? So, what kind of information is this guy after, Rust? Haven't I told you about this already? He's asking about our little miss here. Is he alright? He's fine. He's just sleepy and grumpy. And, like, totally not drunk. Nah, I'm fine. I'm just Those sleepy bear, and grumpy because she dragged me out in the middle of the night on some wild goose chase. Nice to see you two are getting along after all these years. Yellow King? You know anything about the Yellow King? No, really. I guess they left the thing wide open, like open to interpretation. I personally didn't think much of it. Well, okay. we better get cracking. Catch you later, Rust. Sure thing, Snoop. Thank you, Rusty. Bye. Bye, little miss. Don't worry about your brother. I'm sure he's all right. Okay, so this is the study. Let's see if we can get into our brother's room from here. Hole in the wall. This hole leads to Flint's room. It's covered in cobwebs, though. That's so gross. Go in, Ted, and check it out. I'll wait for you here. I'm sorry, doll. As much as crawling through spider-infested holes sounds appealing to me, I have to pass. See, spiders tend to nest in my fur, and then I have to take a bath and go through this whole fumigation process. It's oh, a mess. Boy. Okay. Um, let's see if there's anything in here. I gotta be able to do something. Cause we want to get through the hole. Anything in here? Hey, a flashlight. But. There are no batteries inside. There's bound to be some in the house. We can Hang ask on. Rusty if he'll give us one of his. I'll take the flashlight with me. I've got a flashlight. This won't work. It usually takes two or more of these. Ah, crap. Okay. Um, book. Key. Ooh, key. We'll have to find key. another way. Ah, uh, it's too high up. We can't reach the key. Globe. Let's take this bad boy for a spin. That's exciting, yeah. Face, come on. Ooh. We can move that. Come on, Ted. Oof. Um. Sorry about that. Is there 
anything to do here? It's what growing from the sand. Aren't you Ooh, perceptive, doll? That's nice. You should have been a detective. And you should have been a ten-year-old girl, because you throw like one. Okay, she's ten. I'm assuming. It's a decorative plaque of some sort, or an award for wood chopping? I don't really know. Lamp. Please, whoever finds this log, I'm one of the developers for Bear With Me. I, I didn't want to do it. They've made me. Please send some... Oh no, I can hear him coming. Okay, that's... That's cool. Okay then. Apparently there's a bunch of Easter eggs in here. Wow, that's just disturbing. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, pretty cool. Um, painting? I just love these old paintings. If I fail in my quest to become a world-renowned novelist and Pulitzer Prize winner, maybe I'll become a painter. Sure. Go ahead and do Are they that. letting just anyone be a painter these days? Hey, I'm only ten years old. The world is my oyster. It looks Hourglass. pretty. The sand, I bet, came from somewhere far away. That dim-witted boy sells these down at the local market. So the sand probably came from... Nope, somewhere far away. Maybe some desert. Sure, the desert. Okay. A book titled, It's a Wonderful Lie, The Judicial System and How to Exploit It for Profit. So many hey, stupid should have words. That. <laughs> I hate boring books. Cute. Anything at all here I can use. There's a number written underneath. 107. What does it mean? Ten sevens, the police code for an unconscious or a dead person. That's a little grim. Yeah, I don't make the rules. I sure as hell don't follow them either. Okay, let's... I need batteries. At the very least. So let's go get batteries. Let's talk to Rusty here. Whoa, that. What the hell? What was that? I Weird. don't know, Ted. Lights? Tricks? Yeah, I guess. I'm getting too old for this. Thing. This thing. Yeah, um, sounds right. Not really. Again, with the in-jokes. I like it. Hey, Rusty. Can, can we can we have a battery? Please. Rust, we Please. need a big favor. What's this about, Bear? Rusty, we need a battery for our flashlight. We thought you could help us out. Sure, I got batteries. But here's the problem, miss. If I give you a battery, I gotta shut down for the rest of the night, and I have to keep an eye out. Can't you give us just one battery, Rusty? You'll still have a couple of them left, right? Here's the thing, little miss. It's a closed circuit. She knows. She's just playing on your soft side, uh, Rust. Um, we could take some of that edge off, Rust. Why don't you rest your eyes for a bit and let me and the doll here take over? You? <laughs> no offense, Bear. I respect you as much as anyone in Paper City, but this here is different. I don't think you could handle this red guy on your own. You should take care of Miss and Millie and leave the patrol to me. Are you saying I'm not okay. qualified for watch duty? We have to wrap this thing up. Fast. There's a bottle of carrot juice in my desk that's longing for my return. We can keep an eye out for anyone suspicious in the meantime. Besides, you know I'm more than qualified. That nasty business from a couple of years ago, with them robots going missing. I was the one that brought that whole shady affair down and you know it. Are you trying to play me, Bear? I know you had nothing to do with that. That thing went so high up, there's no chance in hell Snoop like you even got close to wrapping it up. You seem to have blown a fuse there, Rust. It was me who cracked that case, and I can prove it. I have the case file and the credentials, handed to me by the commissioner in my office somewhere. Okay, okay, settle down there, Bear. Let's make a deal. You show me the credentials, and I'll hand over the battery. It's not that I don't believe you. I just want to make sure you're not playing me as all. Well. Okay, so let's go get the battery, or the uh, files. Ted and so Amber, get the battery. Away. Excuse oh me. Oh my God, Ted! You're not supposed to read the brackets. A do-over. Keep it rolling. We should get to my office, doll. There's an old file I have to find. What's this whole deal about, anyways? Why can't he just give us a battery? We can keep an eye out. Rust is having a hard time coping with what happened. He worked in that mill for over 20 years, and now, suddenly, he's got nothing to do. Let's just do this to humor him. Poor Rust. Okay, you're right. Let's find that file. I think by the time this is over, 
We're going to meet a lot of people in his position. Okay, uh, should be back in the closet. Let's run over there. And see if we can find this file. Bring it back to Russ. There should be a nasty business from a couple of years ago. The robot yep. union hired me to look into several cases of robot kidnappings. I remember that CEO of Illuminarium, Skinner, used robot parts to manufacture headlights at low prices. Yep, I brought down that whole shady deal. Almost got shot in the process. Rust finds oh. me unqualified for lookout duty. Probably thinks I'm a burnout. You're not a burnout, Ted. I mean, you were more driven before, but I understand you've had a lot on your mind lately. Anyways, I'm really glad you're with me on this one. Sure thing, doll. What am I going to say no to you? Thanks, Ted. Don't mention it, partner. Okay. Let's see if we can find this file. There. Is this it? Yep, that's the one. Let's head back to that hothead robot. Okay. It produces particles, or is it waves? Or is it waves of particles? I don't know. Let's uh, get back to Rusty there. Let's cook on the other lamp, see if we can find any more Easter eggs. A lamp. Nothing else to it. It shines. I can see where I'm going. But if I can see where I'm going, that means I'll hardly ever get lost. So good. this lamp is like a beacon, <clears throat> reminding me that wherever I am, I can just look around and I'll find my way back home. That was deep. That's not a sandwich. It's a ham, bacon, lettuce, and mozzarella cheese sandwich on pimento bread. It's mounted on my wall and it shines. So it's like a sandwich that's also kind of a lamp. Okay. Um, yeah. That, she's weird. I respect that, but she's weird. Okay, Rusty. Having trouble finding your proof of confidence, Snoop? I'll find it. It's somewhere in my office. Oh, yeah. I know that much. Sure I... thing. Take your time. I'll be here if you need me. Forgot. I have to do this. I can hand it to him. There you go, buddy. Signed and authorized by Commissioner Locke himself. Anyways, we really need that battery now, Rust. Time's a factor here. So it was you. I'll be damned. That was a big deal for us robots, you know? I always held you in high regard, Bear. But you just earned my utmost admiration, let me tell you. You can have my battery. I can use a little shut-eye, to be honest. Keep an eye out, and keep little Miss here safe. Oh, and check on Millie from time to time. Make sure she's alright. Thanks, Rust. We won't let you down. Thank you so much, Rusty. Get some sleep. We'll wake you up in the morning. Hey! Batteries. Hey, I got it working. Cool. Okay, this has been... Uh, gosh, we've been at this for a little while already. Uh, I think I'm going to leave things here. We will continue on. This looks really, really cool. I like the setting. I like his voice. Uh, I like the whole atmosphere. This is lots of fun. Uh, but we will continue on from here next time. So until next time, thank you all again for watching. If you liked the video, go on ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, anything you'd like to say, you can just hi. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, if you've not already done so, consider subscribing. Love to have you here at the channel. Uh, we're going to have many, many fun adventures together. We'll uh, play lots of interesting games like this and many, many others. If you've got a suggestion for a game, feel free to make a suggestion down below as well. Uh, but until next time, thank you again. My name is Clorf. We'll see you next time. This is my new pet. Naming him Bob. And they're swimming through the island again. Good to know. Like I said, they fix one thing, they break something else.